Biomass as a renewable resource is expected to play an important role in future economies. The increase in global demand for food, animal feed, fuel and fibre crops intensifies the pressure on the agricultural sector and food production, particularly in sub-Saharan Africa. Biomass Web aims at contributing to food security in Africa by focusing on biomass-based value webs and innovations in agriculture. We study the interlinked and complex value webs in which food and feed, fuels and industrial raw materials are produced, processed and traded. Our research has been carried out in Ghana, Nigeria and Ethiopia. Family farming households often have to struggle with food insecurity, although they produce the bulk of agricultural goods on the African continent. In our analyses of supply, we investigate the nutritional status of farm families in southwest Ethiopia and the nutritional value of the farm produce. Also, we study how biomass-based value webs can contribute to food security under changing socio-economic and institutional conditions. We are explicitly considering the influence of local institutions and actors, as well as the role of women. In the endeavor of enhanced food security, Biomass Web tries to identify plant traits of crops, here of banana, which are well adapted to the intended use and site conditions in the target region. To help plant breeders find the appropriate breeding material, we are working with non-destructive phenotyping methods to determine plant traits, such as biomass, without destroying the plantlets. We are also developing an app that can be used by scientists, breeders and farmers for quick and low-cost biomass determination. Planting material of bananas and plantains is not obtained from seed but by vegetative propagation. However, farmers often do not have access to disease-free planting material. This endangers farmers' investments in new plantations and reduces income. Biomass Web developed a low-cost in vitro propagation technique with ingredients obtainable everywhere and a starting kit, farms will be able to render banana production more stable and profitable. We aim to use all plant parts to generate income from non-food biomass. For example, during coffee processing, a lot of waste is produced. This waste no longer needs to be dumped. It can be used for biogas production. Therefore, we developed innovative and highly efficient biogas plants, suitable for use on farms or in farmers' cooperatives. In the forest savanna transition zone of Ghana, we designed and implemented bamboo-based agroforestry systems. Our goal is to ensure food production, to meet energy demands and to increase farmers' incomes through the marketing of bamboo. Therefore, we are integrating bamboo for charcoal generation and as windbreaks in maize or cassava fields. Leaf litter helps to improve soil fertility. In addition, we are surveying innovative utilizations of bamboo biomass. For example, bamboo shoots are edible for humans and bamboo leaves can be used as fodder for livestock. Cassava is an important food crop and emerging industrial crop in Nigeria and Ghana 
as well as a global candidate for food, feed and bioethanol production. Innovative cassava starch products are a focus of our research. The use of cassava peels for mushroom cultivation is the idea of our practice partners to profitably use cassava waste. And so we came here to show them or teach them how to use the cassava waste for mushroom production. And so we have developed a mushroom center here in the Gumwa Obwasi for this group. And uh, here we are standing in the cropping house. You can see the mushroom bags arranged and uh, mushrooms already coming. The greatest thing that I consider is that when they produce the mushrooms, they will also consume the mushrooms which have a rich nutritional values that will really improve their nutritional system across apart from the income benefit that they are going to generate and so i will really recommend mushroom for whoever is looking for a job and income opportunity With the push-pull technology developed by ISIPI in Kenya, we focus on an innovative strategy for biological pest control in cereal crops that improves not only yields, but also soil fertility. On demonstration sites and together with farmers and extension services, Biomass Web develops concepts on how to successfully implement the promising technology in Ethiopia. Publications alone will not have the expected impact at the end of a research project. To bridge the gap between research and practice, we established Biomass Net, an interactive platform which connects stakeholders of the biomass sector, researchers and practitioners in order to discuss biomass-related challenges and to share information. That time we actually started with good partnerships between African institutions and German institutions. The build capacity of Biomass Web and the networker platform Biomass Net together will become an instrument for biomass production, processing and trade in Sub-Saharan Africa. Biomass Net is set up to continue beyond the project's lifetime and will help to make our research and development activities sustainable.